Hi there. Oh, welcome back. Happy International Women's Day. Um, I'm pleased to be here to do a reading today in honor of women and in honor of solidarity with all groups um, that, you know, are seeking their freedom from any type of oppression. So solidarity is our weapon, right? And um, I also wanted to celebrate this new corset that I bought. I am in love. It's one of those things that I treated myself to. I love lingerie. I love textile and fiber art. I love fashion. Even though I don't always um, embrace all aspects of fashion, women often have conflicted relationships with fashion, especially high fashion, right? And um, the sort of elitism that comes around that. And this corset is a Chantal Tomas. I always say Thomas, but I don't know. It might be pronounced incorrectly that way. But this was not an inexpensive item to purchase, but it's very well made and I feel like it's art as well as clothing. Um, and so anyways, I just want to celebrate it and celebrate her work as a designer. Um, and, and I personally am someone that feels that lingerie celebrates the female form. I know that there are a lot of understandable different ways of looking at how to adorn your body and whether you're doing it for your own gaze or for the male gaze or, you know, there's a lot of stuff around that that are important themes to talk about on International Women's Day. And I am sex positive. I consider myself a sex positive feminist and this is one of the ways that I like to celebrate myself is by honoring this part of me. So for today, in terms of tarot, I'm just planning to do a general layout. So what is the... Um, my cat's really playing with his puzzle toy right now, and it can be loud because I have a wood floor. Okay, hey you. I'm not trying to rain on your parade, but it's too distracting. I'm sorry. You can have it back in a little bit. I was going to try to see if it would work, but it's not going to work. That's one of the things I'm also working on is how to exercise the least amount of authority over your pets that you can while still having a peaceful household. As an anarchist, I've tried to sort of tune into my own relationship with my pets, honestly. And the fact that even having a pet is a little bit counter to those types of beliefs and not exercising power and control over others. So that's another experiment I've been working on is how to be more accepting of my animal's full agency as much as I can be. They're definitely relying on me to survive, so that's not gonna change, but I owe it to them to do what I can to keep them happy and healthy and stimulated and all that. So to take away his treat ball right now, as simple an act as that may seem, it's a little bit of a trip for me to do. I feel guilty. So anyways, enough about that. Let's get back into the reading here. This is just going to be a general. Whatever wants to come out can come out. I'm celebrating you and I'm sending you love and joy regardless of how you identify gender-wise. Anywhere, I, I'm celebrating and thanking you for being here and for liking and subscribing. And I'm sorry for all that intro, lengthy intro. I'm not sorry, but sometimes if you just want a tarot reading, having to hear someone's big 15 minute intro is a little bit frustrating. So I'll try to get to the cards now. What's a general message for the collective here catching this reading? It's a general message for us. Please think particularly of Palestinian women today and women in the Congo, women in Sudan. It's coming out for the collective. Five of Swords on the bottom, so some conflicted energy. 
combat or words exchanged, heated words possibly. This is a tense message for someone that's been going through a tense time, it looks like. But let me just take a minute here to look at everything and then we'll... So this is relates to somebody going through some changes in relationships, it looks like. And you might have been kind of struggling a little bit with your own perspective on the relationships in your life or a particular relationship. Um, you might be reevaluating. There's a little bit of a tense energy here with the Two of Wands crossed by the Four of Cups. So you're at a threshold where you can either walk into a new experience or a new dynamic, yet there's part of you that's resisting that. There's something being offered to you or an opportunity that has come your way or is coming your way. And it's a it's an opportunity to make a shift and you're a little bit like this. You're kind of cross your arms over it. It's not, you're not sure it's what you want or it may not be showing up in the way that you thought or hoped. There's some tension for you about this, this new situation or this new experience that you're approaching and you're not so wild about it. But often the Four of Cups is a, is a card to ask you to challenge your perspective a little bit. We'll see because it may be that you're not seeing the forest for the trees here or something. In the higher realms or in the conscious world, everything that's visible is the Four of Wands. So something is coming to a completion. But there's, again, I think this is a sort of echo of these two central cards here in the center of the cross is because what's unseen is the devil. So you may be desiring to move into this harmonious, there may be a part of you that is ready to move into something really joyful, beautiful, welcoming, warm, authentic, happy um but there's something in the unseen that's working against you possibly with that or that's saying no to that or that doesn't want to do that you're i'm sensing that you might be at odds with yourself because you are aware that you're at a at an opportunity or a threshold for something different and a new experience with this two of wands but you are not convinced you might need to be sold on it a little bit more honestly you want joy and happiness like everybody does nobody wants to go through life suffering you want to feel accepted loved loved like you're in a warm community that embraces and accepts you but there's something in the unseen that is maybe a little bit it might be that you haven't been embraced for ways that you go outside the traditional boxes because the devil can sometimes represent that that you are a little bit hedonistic or that refuse you refuse to go by the sort of spiritual or dogmatic book like of the catholic church for example something like that could be in play too right it doesn't the devil card at least for me and as i've learned tarot and spiritually i don't have a negative association only with the devil card just like any card the devil has its positive um, things to, we have to embrace this part of ourselves, right? So in the recent past, you've had some clarity, some sort of either clear understanding or clear communication has brought you to this point that you're recognizing, okay, I have an option here. Like I'm at a crossroads. The two of wands is kind of coming through to me right here, like a crossroads. What I want is acceptance and love and joy and harmony. Something in the unseen might be, you know, it might be hard to find if you're somebody who lives in this way. Not everybody accepts someone who lives in a hedonistic way. I can think of somebody again like Aleister Crowley who had a very big influence on my original understanding of the devil card because I learned on the Crowley deck. And so somebody like Aleister Crowley has been really maligned by the Christian faith, right? But he's a, he was a spiritual seeker, just like a lot of people. Granted, he had ego issues just like anyone, any human, but he taught us do what thou wilt, right? You are free to explore who you are. He believed in freedom. 
not in dogma, right? What's coming to in the near future is a time of reorganization of your material resources. The energy that you put out and the resources that you put out and the resources that you get back. It's coming into a better balance. Um, and you may, that may be what you had been working towards. And now that it's here, it's, you know, maybe you haven't typically lived in a way that's balanced. You may have been an overgiver or a taker, right? One of the two. And now you're coming into more of a place of balance with that. You are doing the work. You're getting away with something. And this shows me that you're willing to get a little shady yourself when you have to. You can fight fire with fire if you have to. You're willing to operate in the world from a place of pragmatism and realism. And if someone's working against you, you're going to defend yourself. And so this is how you're moving about in the world right now is the Seven of Swords. So you are getting away with the prize here. Um, but it's a little bit, the Seven of Swords can be a little bit of a conflicted energy, like a trickster almost. So there's a positive face of a trickster and a negative face. And sometimes it's hard to tell which one is which. And that's a little bit of the energy that you're in right now, which isn't surprising with this devil card here, balanced out by the Four of Wands. The energy coming towards you is a new community, a joyful community that you do feel a little bit more in alignment with or connected to. You have gotten worried that all of the work that you've done to bring yourself to this new crossroads where you now have options or choices between two differing realities, you've worked very hard and you're worried about the work that you've done not culminating into anything. You're worried about losing this Four of Wands. <clears throat> and where the energy is headed is a temperance card energy, a time of healing, deep alchemical healing for yourself. So this is a nice card to see with this devil card. This indicates to me that you're integrating some shadow aspects of self and embracing this part of you, integrating it, reorganizing your energy around an integration like this. You've seen clearly about it but there's a little bit of tense energy present and that's i guess what you're alchemizing right now i think let's pull some other cards to see what this says what's this situation about what is this what is your new situation that's coming into being if you can get into alignment with it you're not convinced yet you're pretty uh I don't know, just skeptical or something. This Four of Cups card is can sometimes mean having an ungrateful blind spot a little bit about the work that you've done. Like maybe you're not seeing it's that it's unfolding in the way that you had hoped. You maybe can't quite see that yet or you're feeling like, well, it's not happening the way I thought it was going to, so I'm rejecting it. Or I don't know. Let's just see what's more to know about this. I feel a lot of ramped up energy and sometimes that can happen from just me performing, like being on, feeling like I have to be on while I'm recording, but there's something else to it. So you might be a little bit ramped up and buzzed up from this clarity. Like sometimes having that kind of clarity can be um, like, I just feel this sort of sizzling or intense energy around your, your crown. Maybe like this might've been some insights that came through your crown chakra. I feel my head buzzing with it almost like maybe it's a little bit still unalchemized or having trouble settling into your system. I don't know what is going on here. I feel weird energy. What? It's not negative. It's just intense. What's going on? What's interesting is that the two major arcanas here are the devil card and the temperance card. And then and we have an ace also, an ace of swords. So that's powerful. If you put those three themes together, the ace of swords is clarity, pure clarity, the purest form of the air element. Um, mental clarity, the air element is the um, kind of governs our mind air, in our physical bodies. Um, so then to have this temperance card with this devil card shows me that you've had gotten real clarity on like a, a blind spot that you might have had or a way that you've really gotten acquainted with a part of yourself that you weren't very familiar with or comfortable with and you're now working to integrate it and it's intense to alchemize energy like this i've had energy purges of healing where 
I'm processing emotions like rage and bitterness and stuff that I don't really feel comfortable with. Like those are not values or ways of looking at the world that I want to be in. So when I feel those emotions in myself, I'm not very comfortable all the time, but a lot of times they surface like that so that you can release them and make your peace with them. And it might be something like this that you're doing. And that's why there's kind of this tense energy here in the center. Um, sorry, lots of, I must feel like a manic energy. It's interesting. Maybe it's the spring sun outside. Can you tell us more about this situation here? What's happening for you that's so powerful? Something to do with mother and child. So you might be working on a mother and child healing. The plant kingdom should be addressed in this issue and your realness is rare. So the mother and child is the theme around what's happening here. It's also would be really helpful to you to further alchemize this and restabilize the energy within yourself and in your exterior world by doing some um, using some plant medicine, whether that's just going out for a, a walk and being with the trees and the plants and the grasses or smoking or meditating with smudging and so anything to do with plants can help this process for you right now around mother and child your realness is rare so you are integrating these aspects of yourself which is bringing in you you into a way more authentic and real quality and it's shining through you here i'm curious about this mother and child can you say more about that yeah it's something about the mother child archetype because the next card is what universal story or myth is manifest here so let's pull some more um Let's see, what other cards here might I pull with this? Maybe some Lenormand. Would it be useful for us to know any specifics? Like, what are the specifics about what this group of people in the collective out there might be going through? Any specifics? This is sometimes where an, a layout like the Celtic Cross is a lot more trailheads you can follow than a Tetractus, which is a fairly closed and definitive layout on its own. I like, in this case, how the Celtic Cross can go, you take it a lot of different directions to explore, which is interesting. What's happening here with this specifically? Who are the players or what is the situation? An obstacle. Through, through healing and through maturity and through wisdom of that process of being willing to do this healing and maturity work that has involved embracing your shadow to some extent is resolving past obstacles for you. That's the key here. So you've been facing some obstacles, but your willingness to go within and pr approach it from a wise integrated place where you're listening to your shadow as well as what you want to achieve for yourself in terms of your highest vision for yourself. This is why you are able to come into more and more wisdom and balance here because you've been willing to generate this new opportunity for yourself and it has something to do with mother and child so you may be healing a mother wound like realizing the ways that your mother maybe was just doing the best that she could and even though you have felt for a long time anger or hurt that she failed you maybe this could look something like that like this is really i see my mom with new eyes for the first time i see that and if we're speaking of women, International Women's Day, this can come out in a myriad of ways, right? Like I had a very abusive stepmother who was an alcoholic, a very late stage alcoholic when she came into my life and I was a toddler and she did a lot of real damage to me and my psyche and to my dad as well and probably to her own son, her biological son. And recently I was inspired to try to find them again. I've not seen them since I was about five years old. And I found out that she had died um, like 20 years ago in her late 50s from lung cancer. She had smoked like three packs a day and was an alcoholic. So she was, she was very beautiful, but she was 
um, like kind of hell bent for destruction pretty much in her she just was very wounded as a person and I started to have I it's weird because I even had that perspective on her as a child I remember as terrified of her as I was I had an understanding that she was very sad and she's definitely like I, it's crazy to me to learn that she's not been on the planet for decades now and I'm only just now catching up to that knowledge because she had such a profound impact in my life but for the first time I've really been seeing her through true compassion the eyes of compassion because I've done a lot of healing around the abuse that she subjected me to it no longer has the sting that it used to have and I see how just what a wounded and hurting and suffering soul she was and I hope she truly found peace in her death in some way I don't know um, but it might be something like that. Like it's been a long process to alchemize a relation. Like that was something that I've been working on off and on over my whole life, that relationship, even though that person was only in my life for like three years physically, her legacy was enormous in my world. Um, and so seeing her through the eyes of compassion for the first time, not for the first time, but in a really whole way, like I, I can carry that she abused me and that it caused me a lot of pain and suffering. And I can also carry that she was hurting and she was suffering and she hadn't didn't know where to go with that suffering but rage, right? And that's part of, I don't know, that, can, that kind of awareness in your own world, in your own perspective, and even on a global perspective can, you know, maybe offer healing in some way. I don't know. I want to try to be careful not to... I'm not a spiritual teacher, but that's what it came through for me is a healing process like that. It might be a very potent one. Mother and child is the most primitive biological relationship that mammals have, right? So, and we are mammals, we're animals. And so this is a very animal level relationship that operates often way below our conscious mind because the mother child relationship is about survival. And if you have big, as much as it is about love. And so if you have wounds around this relationship, just think how deep that runs. It runs into the most primitive part of our brains that operate just our basic survival mechanisms that we breathe without having to think about breathing, that our heart beats with us, without us having to consciously make it beat. That's happening in our primitive part of our brain. And that primitive part of our brain is impacted by the mother-child relationship. So I hope I'm capturing how deep it's coming through what you might be healing around this. I, I don't know where it's all coming from, but it's coming through. And I think it's beautiful that it's happening on International Women's Day because it's beautiful. I'll just say that. Wherever you are, Michaela, rest in peace. And her son, Michael, wherever you are, Michael, in the world, I hope you are okay. I was knowing where he was in his life when I never saw him again. He was 15 and he was going down a very dangerous road of really bizarre. He used to terrorize me in ways that are troubling to think about now that he was doing that as a teen. I've always wondered how he turned out. He was got the brunt of her abuse. I experienced it for about three years and he experienced it for probably his whole upbringing i wonder where he is out there michael i'm sending you healing energy and he was a he was a difficult relationship because he also protected me at times from what was happening in our home but then he also abused me so it's that level healing we're talking about here around like a mother child relationship All right, I'm, so I'm going to read these last three here, and then we'll close this reading. The first card is to the sea in reverse, and it's card number seven. <clears throat> these are tying it together messages for you about this reading. Healing these energies within. When external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward, there is no hidden message for you to decipher. Like the ocean, the tides of experience ebb and flow. 
you are in a natural cycle. So know that things will flow again in due course. That might be where that frustrated feeling is at the center of that four of cups. You're not going to stagnate. There is no cause for alarm. Stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow, even when the tide is going out. Relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within your reach again. An ancient mariner saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their nets. The next card is card number 30. Also in the reverse, and it's TikTok. So that's a you're feeling a frustration around timing and the passing of time towards your goals, maybe. Have you been feeling as if the clock is ticking and gotten a little nervous that your dreams are taking too long to manifest? There is nothing to fear. You will never run out of time for the important things. The miracles that are yours and yours alone can't be missed. Isn't that amazing? You're in such capable hands with guides and angels hovering in the invisible spaces, ensuring that your journey will be filled with all sorts of goodies. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled. Oh, I just feel that. Like I want to give my heart center Reiki all of a sudden around that anxiety that you're feeling. I can feel that it's not mine. It's that frustrated anxiety that starts to get you in that energy of this, right? Like I'm not open anymore because I'm fighting against the flow, right? Let your anxiety be gently dispelled by your faith. Spirit will never deny you your highest good. All is yours. In divine appropriate timing, you can relax. Ah, feels good. I needed to hear that, I guess, because that really gave me a lot of relief to read. And then the last card is card number 23, Peace in the Reverse. Now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions, that Four of Cups again at the heart of things. Even if there are dissonant notes in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within and fine-tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. This too shall pass and once again, your life will be feel, filled with beautiful music. And the nice thing is here is that you, this card shows that that's coming. You're nervous that you keep, or not getting anywhere, that you were spinning your wheels and now you're starting to feel kind of pissed about it. It's important to know that the work that you've done up until this point is clearing away those blocks. This is a temporary lull. It's not a major block that you're having to yet again, that energy is coming through of like, God, and you're, but what's important to know is this three of cups is coming for you. All your work hasn't been in vain. It's a time of major integration and healing into the four of wands that you've been hoping for, but that you feel like are, is eluding you. This is all saying you can relax. It's not eluding you. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to fight against any realities. You just need to know that it's on your way and breathe and relax. You don't have to fight or try to control the flow. Um, really beautiful. And it has to do with mother child energy. So maybe let yourself be in the arms of the loving planet Earth today, who's also, in my mind anyways, a feminine energy. I know that's different varying <laughs> belief systems there, but um, I wish you all of the love and respect in the world. And thank you for being here. Um, we're coming up on a new moon, so I'll probably do a new moon mirror gaze here coming up soon, an obsidian mirror gaze, and hopefully another um, tarot reading too for this weekend um, I like to try to do two you know going into the weekend and I didn't do one yesterday so um sending you love I don't know why but it's like I don't want this to end now I want to keep just talking but this is a card reading not just me talking so <laughs> thank you